So, the Phantom GX2 or the Predator Elite? Well, that's a bit of a tough question, honestly, because they're both great boots and also both all about grip and control. So, which one should you choose? Well, in today's video, I'll compare the two to, hopefully at least, help you figure out which one of these two bad boys is the right boot for you. <laughs> We can start out with the way the boots fit and feel, where I would say the common denominator for me is that both actually fit really, really well to be fair, but that's kind of also where the comparisons stop. See, the Phantom GX2 here is made with a fully knitted upper, where you have grip knit in the forefoot and the midfoot, and then a fly knit construction in the tongue area and in the heel. Whereas the Predator Elite here is made with a fully synthetic Hybrid Touch 2.0 upper for the most part, then you have a short knit collar in the heel, and then of course also the traditional U-throw tongue construction. And that means that the fit and feel in the boots, it, it, it's quite different. See, as for the fit itself, I do find both boots to fit relatively snug around the toe box. They're both pretty low and pointy, but it feels as if the Preds are ever so slightly lower and slightly more pointy in the very tip of the toe box. And that means that it feels like the GX2 has a bit more volume. And maybe it's just the feeling because the knit is so soft that you can basically just wiggle your toes however you want. But with that said, the Preds might also feel a little bit more pointy arrow like in the very toe box here but then as you progress up further to the boot it is pretty wide right around here but then of course it becomes a little bit more snug and sculpted up to the midfoot and especially also in the heel whereas on the gx2 you do have a good amount of width in the forefoot and that kind of continues through the midfoot and the heel and personally I really enjoy that slightly more snug, sculpted and almost anatomical fit in the Predators. Of course, especially also because of the youth throw tongue construction here. That really allows you to just adjust the fit of the boot. You can either tighten or loosen the laces. And that means that the opening will just accommodate and basically make it feel as if the boot is just really taking to the shape of your foot. That also means that, you know, it's a little bit more, I would say, adjustable than the Phantom GX2. Of course, the knit here can stretch, but you're going to be under the mercy of the knit. How much can it stretch? And also, do you want to tighten the boot? It's not going to feel as natural, I would say, as in the Predators. So personally, I like the snug anatomical sculptor fit in these, but I will say that if you have wide feet, the GX2s are going to feel a, a bit like a dream because it just feels as if there's a bit more volume throughout the boot and it's so soft that it's just, it's just gonna feel painted on really. But with a narrow foot, definitely the Preds. Now, when it comes to the softness of the upper, uh, to be fair, both boots are really, really good. They're very soft, but it's kind of difficult to compete with that absolutely ridiculous softness of the grip knit on the Phantom GX2. It's a, it's a bit of a joke, really. It's just plug and play. Feels absolutely wonderful straight out of the box and just very, very much like putting on a nice pair of socks, really. Now, that doesn't mean that the Preds aren't good. And in fact, Hyper Touch 2.0 is really, really soft and, and compares really well to most other boots out there. But it feels as if it just needs a training session or two to get like close to that ridiculous softness of the GX2. And yes, it sets a high bar, but we are comparing after all. So for me, the GX2 feels very sock-like and very free, especially also around the heel. It's a bit wider and it doesn't really hug, at least my heel, that closely. Whereas in the Preds, it does feel a bit more snug and tight and locked in. Of course, because of that tighter shape, but also because of the foam pots that sit inside that are supposed to wrap the heel and really lock it in place. And while I personally appreciate that very slipper-like comfort in the GX2s, I like my lockdown. So I'm gonna go with the Preds. But these are great, they, they feel amazing. Right, and sizing. I'm true to size in both of these, going with my regular US 7, Euro 40. Yeah, I have small feet, ha ha, let's move on. Weight-wise, the Preds are 205 grams, whereas the Phantom GX2s are 192 grams. And while you can definitely feel the difference in hand, and it might add a little bit to that free sensation of the GX2s, I don't really think that on pitch, you're gonna notice that big of a difference. Price-wise, uh, both are 260 euros, so, uh, but to sum it up, I like the fit in both of these a lot. And I think if you just go in blind and you don't really have a preference, you're gonna like both a lot. But ultimately, it comes down to your foot shape and your personal preference. 
what you like most. But we should also take a look at the touch. Where both boots feel relatively close and sharp on the ball, thin upper, slow pointy toe boxes, that's very good. But again, that's kind of where the comparisons stop. Sure, they both feel grippy, but in a very different way. See, the Phantom GX2 has grip knit, which has this almost spiderweb-like sticky sensation of grip to it. That's just, it, it's very, very unique. Whereas the Predators have these strike skin fins that are basically eight almost like brush-shaped SL rubber fins on the instep of the boot. And to me, strike skin feels a little bit more like actual tools sitting on top of the boot, whereas grip knit feels ever so slightly more natural in an ingrained way in the boot. It's basically like wearing a really sticky pair of socks. And the grip might not be as aggressive as on the strike skin, but then at the same time, it feels a little bit more consistently grippy throughout the entire boot. Meaning that wherever I touch the ball, control it or dribble, there's just grip. And you don't get that on the Predator, which is nice. But I think the best way to describe it is saying that the Predator feels a bit more centered around shooting. Obviously that's where the fins are, but I do get a bit more of a solid feel when I strike the ball in the Preds because of the fins. And also strike skin really feels like a tool, as I said. You get that something extra on top of the boot where it feels as if the fins are being activated when I strike the ball, where again, the grip knit feels a bit more like an incorporated part of the boot. It's just there on top of your foot. And I will say that I feel the Preds are a bit more efficient when it comes to adding swerve on the ball and manipulating it, whereas grip knit feels a little bit more balanced. But then again, it's more incorporated. It, it's a bad analogy, but it feels a bit more like a magnet. You know, there's grip all over the boot for touching and controlling and dribbling. And while I probably can't tell you which boot is better in terms of grip, I will say that personally, I would prefer the Preds purely for shooting. But when it comes to overall like touch control and dribbling, I probably trend towards the GXs. But again, personal preference is the key word. Remember it. But when it comes to the outsoles, we also have a quite interesting comparison here because we have Control Frame 2.0 versus Cyclone 360. And here I definitely think that Control Frame is going to be more generally appealing. It has a classic traditional stud layout, triangular shaped studs which are decent for both rotational movements and acceleration and has a really nice solid stable midfoot. Where Cyclone 360 on the other hand, it's made to reduce the risk of injuries. And I think these five studs under the forefoot feel great for changing direction and pushing off. But then again, the kicker for me is, is the midfoot, which is just super, super soft and flexible. And while some people will appreciate that slightly more free sensation, I just think it lacks stability for me. So on FG, Pred here is a clear winner. But that's not necessarily the case once I start playing on AG, where I definitely prefer the AG Pro outsole on the Phantom GX2 compared to the 4G AG option on the Predator, which just feels a little bit too much like the FG option, where the studs here are too long, so you shouldn't use it on AG. Obviously, Cyclone, too aggressive, don't use it on AG. But I just feel that the AG Pro option on the GX feels a bit more gentle. The studs feel a little bit shorter and just, I feel safer in this on AG. So that'd be my choice. Pred on FG, Phantom on AG. Right, Jay, but now you've said a lot of words, but which one of these two should I buy then? <laughs> That's the good question, right? And it's a bit of a tough one because I genuinely think that both of these boots are really, really good. I will say though that for me, I think the Preds slightly edge it because of the way they fit my foot and also because of that something extra that strike skin brings. But then on the other hand, when I play on artificial grass, out of these two, I'm gonna be in the GXs. So um, there's that. Uh, well, at least hopefully now you know enough 
to make your own decision about which of these two to buy. And once you've come to a conclusion, you can buy both the Preds and the Phantom GXs and all of the other major boots in the link to the sport right over there. But before you go and click buy, tell me which of these two you would prefer in the comment section right down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you like learning skills, there's a playlist right down there. And with those words, I'll be signing off. A cheerio, my friends.